Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel. This is Premier League Predictions 1920 season. Let's go, part one, let's go. Okay, and in 20th, Sheffield United. Everyone has Sheffield United in 20th. Because they are a championship squad, they have made a couple of signings, which are all right, but quite risky. Phil Chigielka is really not the best defender anymore, and uh, some of the other signings aren't proven Premier League signings and so and they've Chris Wilder's a good manager but they're still gonna go down probably definitely. They're not gonna be as bad as Sudderfield probably were last season or as Derby were ten years ago or whatever, but they're gonna go down. Newcastle, nineteenth. Okay, a lot of people also have Newcastle relegated, but Steve Bruce isn't the best of managers. He's an alright manager who has been around for a while now. <laughs> Quite a long time now, yeah. And uh, they haven't. What a. This summer's been for Newcastle. Talks of potential takeover by. Takeover and then signing Mbappe. Uh, but now they've got Steve Bruce, Benitez is left, and Rondon uh, didn't join permanently. And they've lost Perez, and yeah, their squad wasn't. Ref Benitez was very overachieving with that squad. To keep them up, but and they don't have the best of the squads because oh, Mike Ashley doesn't send anything at all on Newcastle. Or oh, they did break their transfer record, but they probably did get most of that money from Iosi Perez's deal. But they're going to go down. They do not have. A, they haven't really. They've made a couple of signings which have been all right, but they're really not that good enough. Now, eighteenth, I put Brighton. Now, uh, Brighton could stay up. Could. If they, Graham Potter, do, Graham Potter does where he's not really he didn't have the best of seasons. He had an all right season with Swansea last year, but he really hasn't. It was like his first season in England, and he really hasn't done anything else much. So he's not the most experienced manager at all, and really still relying on a thirty-five-year-old or whatever Glenn Murray to up top score the goals isn't going to be that good. Lewis Dunk. If he stays, which he probably will, well, is a good defender. But other than that, like, they don't have a great squad. They've got um Anthony Knockout, Knockout um out on um loan, who's was one of their best best players last year. So why did they do that? Good man. Seventeenth Burnley. Okay, Burnley. I they they they're a good team. They've been probably over. They probably overachieved two seasons ago and that European. Football, all that trip to Scotland, and then they got lost to them. Aberdeen it wasn't their best; didn't do that good for Burnley this season. But if they have got, but they have, and they have just sold Tom Heaton, so I don't think they'll do that well. They could end up swapping with Brighton in this. But if, but Dwight McNeil looks quite good. So and um, Ben May is a good defender, and they've got some good attacking options. I think they could stay up, but not by much now. They've lost some key players in the transfer window. But Sean Dyche is a good manager, so they're probably going to stay up. But only just. In 16th, I put Bournemouth. Though I put Bournemouth this low. I don't really know. They haven't lost Callum Wilson, but he's really... He had a good season last year, but he's really not been consistent over the past couple of years. He's had one good season. He could just be a one-season wonder, but... Yeah, and he's it's gonna stay probably now. But and David Brooks is all good as well. But other than that, Bournemouth don't have the best squad, really. But I, they'll, they'll stay up. Eddie Howe's been doing amazing, and they really shouldn't be a Premier League team, Bournemouth, with their tiny stadium. And, but they do have some good players, and they are better than Burnley and Brighton, and them. And they probably could finish higher than sixteenth because they've got some good players. But once again, yeah, but their squad's not as good as some of the other teams on this list, and they haven't spent, and they haven't really signed anyone this summer of any note that I can remember. But so yeah, I don't think they'll do as good as they have done the last two seasons, but they're not going to do terribly. I put Aston Villa in fifteenth. They have spent a lot of money, but they're going to they're not going to finish top ten definitely. Um, so, I don't think they're going to do amazing, but they've got a good Dean Smith did amazing to get them promoted, but 
they've made some good signings. So they're going to finish 15th. They're not getting relegated, but they're not going to finish in the top half of the table. 